Let's keep moving on here. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> Bieber fever is dead. <laughs> So, uh, no, I didn't really get my story and video idea from this. Actually, when I saw it, I really wanted to talk about it, but I happened to Google it, and I just wanted to read the tagline because I thought it was hysterical. Justin Bieber begs fans to game the system and stream yummy on repeat while they sleep. Uh, Maria Sherman, uh, one ten of January at 12 o'clock. Now, I had listened to the song. I didn't see the album art. Uh, I don't know what I saw. It wasn't this when I saw this album art here. I want you guys uh, and girls t to read this because this is the saddest thing I've, I I've seen in a really long time. And I, I wanted to take a second and also mention like, uh, yeah, I do make music too, right? Like I, I, I very much like the art of it and, you know, that side of it. And Justin Bieber's a huge name. Um, I don't want to really throw shade, but like you're asking for the shade or or it's a, a troll. But I think it's for real on Spotify. And this is quotes here. Create a playlist with yummy on repeat and stream it. Don't mute it. Play at a low volume. Let it play while you sleep. If you are not from the US, you can download a VNP APP, should it be VPN? Set the VPN to US and then create a Spotify account. That's how Justin Bieber plans to get his streams up on Spotify. Let's check on iTunes. iTunes, buy the song on iTunes. Buy the song multiple times on Justin's website. So if you're a fan of Justin Bieber on iTunes, if you could buy the song multiple times and also buy the song on iTunes, that would be great. And if you're on Spotify, make a playlist of just one song, yummy in it, and put it on repeat and stream it. And since it, those are valuable hours while you sleep, we want you to put it on very low volumes <laughs> so you can get uh, psychologically droned up to the song of yummy yummy while you sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep a straight face. This, is, this might be one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen by such a well-known artist. Uh, I talked about this earlier with a friend of mine and I think there are two people who need to do a joint album. It's Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus. Uh, it's not that they've fallen off. Well, they've fallen off. Not so much Miley. Um, but the thing is, both of these people are very talented. They both can sing a cappella. Now, I haven't heard Justin do it in a very long time. But Tyler, the creator, said something hysterical about Justin Bieber. I'm going to roll that clip so we can have a good laugh here. Hey, hold on. This is my favorite part. Uh, his voice is like an angel. Yeah, I will. Oh, God, but they can actually sing and I'll recommend uh, this song by Miley Cyrus to hear that vocals and because hey, they're really talented but yummy is not it chief uh, it's one of the most bubblegum pop bullshit songs I've ever heard and then couple it with the fact that you want me to buy it on iTunes and then buy it multiple times from your Justin Bieber website and make a playlist stream it and you want me to do it while i'm asleep too but at very low volumes so i can be yummy yummy dumb funny all oh, fuck it you, you gotta be kidding me this is uh, this is so pathetic uh, let me know what you think about justin bieber begging his fans because literally that's what he's doing here to get his song to number one his comeback trail it's clear that justin bieber wants to do this organically and with good music I lied. He clearly doesn't want to be uh, an artist artist. He doesn't want to grind and work for his name anymore. He doesn't want to um, put the time and effort into evolve and grow. He just wants to beg everyone to make his song number one so we can all think Justin Bieber's back. So real quick, this is Justin Bieber. Doing everything I can on my end. Doing everything he can apparently to, to make good music. 
That's a fucking yeah, lie. Wait, wait, let's go He's obviously not doing everything he can to make a good song. Uh, he's he, he's playing the sympathy let's card. Go, go uh, he just came right out and said he has Lyme disease, but he, he's had it for years. I don't know why he's go never mentioned it. It seems like a weird coincidence that he would mention this now when he's trying to push this song and possibly this tour he's doing or whatever. No disrespect to those with limes. I know it's a big deal. But uh, if y'all remember, Selena Gomez got a lot of hate for a similar situation. Um, and I don't remember really Justin doing much there. Shout out to Selena. I love you. Um, <laughs> I just ask it specific people to stream the song. It's just, it's different if you're like, hey, yo, if you like the song, go stream it. Versus, please, I'm doing everything I can. Please, I, I really want this number one spot. Like, you, you earn under one. You don't, you don't. It's not gifted to you. Uh, I use the example of a like a Kylie Jenner getting her to a billion uh, dollar female, but it was people like sending her money in the thing. I don't know what that was, but y'all remember that. Uh, Yummy will get radio spin, but it, it won't live very long because it's just not a good song. <laughs> so let me know. I hope you enjoyed some of the clips. So one of the more interesting uh, things to drop this year was your PlayStation year in view, like review, basically. Nintendo had something of the uh, same ilk or design. Uh, but it came out for PlayStation, which it was really cool. So I'll like preface this and we'll get into mine. Uh, I thought that would be fun. But let's preface it first with this like article kind of explaining what I'm talking about. PlayStation 2019 wrap up looks back at your 2019 gaming year. Celebrate your achievements with a free PS4 theme and seven avatars. Uh, it'll show you your top games, how many different games you played, as well as like tons and tons of different uh information Ooh, that's a nice sleek background there um so let's see uh, i thought this would be kind of fun i guess maybe not <laughs> so uh let's check my year in review and kind of validate or call my own bullshit out on some of the things i've said uh, on the channel and see what my genre and games and everything adds up to be you see me here i am pk grown kid the pk stands for player killer and uh, this is my wrap up. Now this is fun. I I've sat on this information for a while. I wanted to get a couple of my friends on here to talk about stuff, but I played 60 different games. My top game was Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. I had talked about Final Fantasy uh, being that game. And I, I saw this and I was like, damn, I didn't realize I put 704 hours into A Realm Reborn. Now, I want to remind everybody that I have not played Final Fantasy legitimately in four, four months, three, four, maybe even five months. I did log back in for like two play uh, playthrough streams or something, but I have not nearly played it uh, as much as I used to earlier in 2019. So it, it's so shocking that Shadowbringers really 704 hours of content just from Shadowbringers and Final Fantasy in general. Uh, expansions this is what I mean by best ongoing games MMOs should really be in that category uh, the VGA's did a really big s disservice by not adding a variety to that genre I've you've heard me mention apex a lot 368 hours um, that's still a lot less than my friends who I play apex with uh, but like I said free to play I'm having way too much fun in apex legends uh, it, it, it's it's very low stress high stress situation sometimes I go in competitive sometimes I just go into you know fuck around and then Assassin's Creed Odyssey um, when I play a game I really like to play a game and Assassin's Creed Odyssey was one of those games I want to do everything and that's 145 hours without really doing the DLC uh, so I can imagine it being a 170 ish maybe uh, but that's impressive. I know in Death Stranding, I've clocked in more than 145. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work with this. Is it going to do the, the cutoff ex exactly every year or do, does it blend? Um, we'll have to see how that works. I'm assuming it's January to January since this released in January, uh, but I'm not sure. My top genre was clearly RPG. Final Fantasy 14 and Assassin's Creed are basically RPGs. 18 games 174 and 1270 hours i spent in rpgs that's about half the time 
of my total gaming time this year I spent in RPGs. So I do enjoy myself in RPG. Clocked in 20... 2,251 hours. This is crazy to me. Now that I can see this kind of information, um, I, I really do want to consider playing a lot less in the coming year, this year, and doing other things. <laughs> I love gaming, trust me, but um, just take 100 hours away from that and I could, you know, be at a third grade level at, you know, learning a new language. So we're really going to be cautious of this, uh, you know, this coming year. My total days played was 322 of the 365. So just picture that. That is kind of insane uh, when you really think and sit down and think about it. This blows my mind. Um, I don't really understand hours locally. 2,243, eight hours online. Uh, I didn't do the PS Plus, and when I did, I, I you know I just don't want to pay for PS Plus because no games really require it. A Rainbow Six used to, and um, I, I don't know what else really requires it. I'm not a fan of it. Hours locally though, cool. Now hours gaming streak. I don't remember when I put in 24 hours, and what I've been hearing is that this actually stops at 24 hours. It doesn't show you anything higher than that. Um, so I, I, I'm surprised. I, I don't know what I played. I'm, I'm thinking Final Fantasy XIV, but I'm not 100% sure there. My time to play Friday afternoons, 552 trophies, no plats. I want to change that. Um, you, I mean, you have to go out of your way in most cases to get yourself a platinum trophy. Uh, I know in 2018 I did get a few, but this year no plats. So that just goes to show you that those free to plays uh, take up a lot of time and energy and it takes the they take away from a game like uh, trying to platinum assassin's creed which i would never do anyway it's just too much to do there to, to platinum it and i get the online trophy thing it's cool it's only cool if you ever say you know i platted it because what i believe is that the platinum trophy should be something it should be the hardest thing to get in the game uh, it means you it doesn't mean you just played the game over and over seven times I, I like when you could get a platinum in one Playthrough and you know do everything get everything a lot of times nowadays games aren't structured that way Fundamentally to be a one-time playthrough and to do and get everything uh, So so you get what I'm kind of saying there um, It only matters if you ever get plat none of the other trophies really matter I only downloaded two of the shit ton of games. Oh, my PS Plus, I played Outward. Uh, but that that ended, you know, rather quickly with five hours. And I only had a total of eight, so the other three must have been Rainbow Six. Um, you could have got 24 games. But let's check out these games really quick. Steep, no thanks. For Honor, no thanks. Call of Duty, no thanks. The Witness, nah, I maybe would like it, but no. The Surge was okay. Uh, Conan Exiles, no. Remains of Edith Finch, maybe. Overcooked, held to the no. Borderlands, no. Sonic Mania, no. Detroit, maybe. And Wipeout uh, are the games that I like. Tried, or are these just some of the games? Because there's not 24 games here, right? There's only eight, twelve. So, I don't know, really know what that, uh, uh, what's up with that. Thank you for playing your action, you're an action hero for 2019. Uh, it gives you all your stats and you can redeem a little prize. I didn't really do that, uh, but I may. It, it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so that's PlayStation Review. I, I really am interested to find out what some of you may think about some of your stats here. Um, I don't know if they have this for Xbox. I know they have it for Nintendo, but... To be honest, if you're not playing PlayStation in the year 2020, you've, you've really missed the curve. Uh, yeah, maybe computer games as well. Like, obviously, there's a computer that's not a, like a console. Uh, and maybe there's a tracker for that somehow. I'm sure there's something. Um, but let me hear what your thoughts are on the information. Not so much what the information is. What does it mean to you that, you know, you played X amount of days in a row or out of the year or, or clocked in so many hours what do you want to do moving forward do you want to max out and go 3,000 hours 365 days you know what are your goals what, what do you want to do with this information I told you a little bit of what I want to do with some of it 
Uh, but I like this. this, is interesting to have, and it makes me think I wish I had this for like everything in life. Like how much time did you spend on your phone? Uh, how much time did you uh, spend asleep? Uh, I guess maybe half, but again, this kind of information is really cool and I think can only keep growing. And, and something that separates, like I noticed successful people from unsuccessful people is their use of their time. Right, because everybody on the planet has something they don't want to do, uh, but it's what they do with the time that they have to do the things they want to do. Um, so that was PlayStation a year in review. Let's move on to the final topic today. I know it's a it's a nice light, easy episode. Um, just trying to f- update all my tech and everything. I haven't really done that yet, um, but we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it and then buy it multiple times from your Justin Bieber website and make a playlist, stream it, and you want me to do it while I'm asleep too, but at very low volumes so I can be yummy, yummy, dumb, funny, oh, fuck it, you, you gotta be kidding me. This is uh, this is so pathetic. Uh, let me know what you think about Justin Bieber begging his fans because literally that's what he's doing.